there. I've got another book for you guys. I have another Dr. Seuss. Yay! Okay, so this one is called Yertle the Turtle and Other Stories. Today we'll just do Yertle the Turtle and we'll get to the other stories so that it's not too long. I don't want anybody to, you know, get bored for goodness sake. But this one is Yertle the Turtle. Here we go. On the faraway island of Salamisand, Yertle the Turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond, it was clean, it was neat, the water was warm, there was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need, and they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were, until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm a ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough, that's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king! I'd be ruler of all that I see. So Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand, and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone, and using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back, and he piled them all up in a nine turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view! He could see most a mile. All mine, Yertle cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and what's more beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. And all through that morning, he sat up there high saying over and over, a great king am I until long about noon, then he heard a faint sigh. Oh. What's that? snapped the king, and he looked down the stack, and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac, just a part of his throne, and this plain little turtle looked up and he said, Beg your pardon, King Yertle. I've pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we stand here, your majesty, please? Silence! The king of the turtles barked back. I'm king and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house and a bush and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher. His, vo his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about 200. Got me. Turtles, more turtles! He bellowed and brayed, and the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond, they came swimming by dozens, whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins. And all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another, they climbed up the stack. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray! shouted Yertle. I'm king of the trees. I'm king of the birds and I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Then again from below, in the great heavy stack, came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Oh, your majesty, please, I don't like to complain, but down here below we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, groaned Mac. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yertle. You've no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds, over land, over sea. There's nothing.
nothing, no nothing that's higher than me. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that? snorted Yertle. Say, what is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I'll go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I can and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I mean, about 5,607. But as Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, that plain little turtle below in the stack, that plain little turtle whose name was just Mac, decided he'd taken enough, and he had. And that plain little lad got a little bit mad. And that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped, and his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yertle the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of a house and a cow and a mule, well, that was the end of the turtle king's rule. For Yertle, the king of all Salamisand, fell off his high throne and fell plunk in the pond. And today the great Yertle, that marvelous he, is king of the mud. That is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free, as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. The end. So next time we will get to Gertrude McFuzz. That was a very funny one, but for now, you can take a little break. Go maybe have a snack. Well, I don't know what time it is where you are, but take a little break, jump up and down, do some jumpy jacks. And then you can come back and we will have Gertrude McFly.